Good morning guys, welcome to the vlog. So we have a busy day today. Today is Friday, we're leaving to Miami tomorrow. So I've got a bunch of stuff around the house that I gotta do, we gotta pack for the kids, pack for myself. Um, I already started separating some of Riley's clothes, but that's about as much as I've gotten done. Jackson's over there having some yummy breakfast. Riley is delaying. She wants to play, but I'm gonna make her her breakfast here soon. I wanted to try to go to Target at some point to pick up some sunscreen for the kids, and I needed to return a pair of shorts that I had bought that I just don't wanna keep, and I just have like, I'm trying to tie up all the loose ends here before we leave tomorrow. Tomorrow, Riley has swim class like at nine in the morning, and then when we get home, my goal is to like literally take off after that, Otherwise, we would have tried to leave tonight, but I didn't want her to miss her swim class. So I want to get everything ready to go like before the end of tonight. Wish me luck. Lots to do. And then I'm hoping to take some, I don't know, maybe I take the donations today. I don't know. We'll see what else I can accomplish today. I also have a call with my counselor today for my therapy at 10 and it's like 9 15 i thought joe would be home to like help me watch the kids but he ended up having to go to work so i'm gonna try to do my therapy session it's only half an hour but still like i'm gonna have to do it when the kids are around so it's gonna give me anxiety just thinking about that and here i am trying to help my anxiety but whatever it should be a very interesting day to say the least i started taking out what we're gonna have for dinner tonight we're gonna have one of these butcher box grass-fed beef sirloin tips so I'm gonna find a recipe now on like how to make that so I can prep for it later tonight. But today's video is sponsored by ButcherBox. You guys know that I love them, so thank you to them for sponsoring. If you guys have never heard of ButcherBox before, they're like a meat subscription service. Like you go online and you decide which box you wanna get from them. They have like four different boxes. Is it four or five? They have like a box that's like all beef, which is normally the one that I get. And then they have like an all chicken box. They have a mixed box. And then they have a box that is like um, custom. So you can go and like decide what exactly you wanna put in your box. So I have always loved them. I think it's a great way to like stock up your fridge or your freezer really um, like with some extra meats if you like that kind of stuff, if you like to grill, if you like to just, I don't know, enjoy really good quality proteins. That's kind of like their thing. Like they work with these farmers and they source all of their stuff from people that have like really good quality stuff like all of the beef is like 100 percent grass fed you've got organic chicken so it's really high quality meats i've always enjoyed how everything tastes joe usually like i'll take something out in the morning and then joe will cook it on the traeger these sirloin tips i think i'm gonna try to cook them on the oven but we've always really enjoyed working with them so i'm always super happy when they partner with me because i look forward to getting that box two nights ago i got my box here like on my front door which is another thing that's awesome it's like very convenient right it shows up at your doorstep and then I just take everything down to the freezer downstairs. Show you guys what came in my box this month. Um, I was really impressed. We got a lot of really nice meats to work with. I really wish I would have sent them to Miami so that my family could have enjoyed them while we were down there. I kind of failed. So when we get back home, then I'm gonna have Joe cook some of that stuff, but at least we'll have something tonight. But we've got a lot of stuff to look forward to. And the most exciting thing is the thing that they're promoting right now, which is free bacon for life. If you join ButcherBox now, the pro that they have is from now until you're like no longer a member as long as you're a member with butcher box every time that you place an order you're gonna get a free pack of bacon in there so every time that you order you'll get a pack of bacon you can use that for morning breakfast all of that their bacon is really good but i'll show you their website um the other thing like you can cancel anytime you can decide like how often you want them to deliver it but i've got to go on here anyway because i want to find a recipe for those sirloin tips so i have all this info down below in the description box for you guys but you see this is their promo right now if you go to how it works it'll tell you like you can choose how often you want your box you get free shipping all of that and then these are the boxes that they have to choose from you've got your custom box the mix box which brings like a little bit of pork a little bit of beef a little bit of chicken beef and chicken box i forgot about that one and then the beef and porks box and then the all beef box so you can figure out which one you want in terms of pricing it kind of varies like if you look at the boxes some of them tell you like 538 per meal um like there's different prices depending on which box you get but i think it averages about like six bucks a meal so it's about 129 dollars a month for the 
like normal boxes not the custom boxes you think about that you guys like if you're gonna enjoy a nice steak dinner like honestly like if you're gonna enjoy a nice steak dinner you and your husband or you and your partner or whatever um you're gonna go to a restaurant and spend about a hundred something dollars on a nice steak dinner here you get a bunch of stuff for that price so that's kind of like how i justify it to myself but i like that i can go to their recipes and then they have like a bunch of different recipes that i can look and get ideas so i'm going to type in sirloin tips and i think this is the one that i was looking at earlier so i'm going to try to figure out if I need to marinate this or whatnot and see if I can cook this later. So that's really it. That's what I wanted to show you guys today. If you guys haven't checked out ButcherBox, highly recommend them. I'll have all the info down below in the description box. Thank you to ButcherBox for sponsoring. Thank you guys for supporting these videos and supporting me when I have, you know, sponsored videos. I really appreciate it, guys. I love your freaking faces. You guys are the best. Little Miss, do you want some breakfast? You know what? I don't know what the other Zoe Zebra that dress. Zoe Zebra. I don't know where she went. Oh, isn't this her? Yes. Look at that. I'm the best. Yesterday, Riley painted this little dinosaur. I've set her up on her high chair with her paints and she painted the dinosaur. That was like a hack that I had seen on an Instagram account. Like if your kid likes to paint, give them a plastic animal. Like all of this paint will come off, but they kind of like have more focus and like they play with the paints longer if you give them something to actually paint versus just like a piece of paper. So that worked out nice. By the way, can I tell you guys that I have loved the toy rotation? Like we did like one full round of rotation um, this past weekend and the kids were so excited to get their like new toys like for the week. And I think it's really gonna work out. It was a really easy process. To do um it took me like i don't know five or ten minutes to put out the new toys like to put all the old toys in their box and then put out the new toys i just i really liked it i may we'll have to kind of see how it goes i may leave the toys out instead of rotating every week i may rotate every other week just to give them a little more time to play with what's out there instead because i feel like the days are like flying by like before i know it it's the end of the week um, so I might I might leave it out a little bit longer, but the whole concept of having like the four bins and rotating them out It's working so far. So I'm very happy about that. Good morning, Jackson What are you watching? Ow. What are you watching? Oh Ow Like it's so funny like now whenever he watches cars or that's what he's watching now But like he'll watch something and if somebody is getting hurt or like something's not going well for the character He says ow, which is so funny I'm having the best time with him, you guys, at this age, at 18 months. Yesterday, he turned 18 months old. I feel like when Riley was 18 months old, I was pregnant with him. And so this time frame, I feel like I didn't get to enjoy it as much with her because of the fact that I was pregnant. I was like always worried in my pregnancy. I was always really tired in my pregnancy. So I feel like I'm really getting to enjoy it with him because this honestly is probably like my favorite stage so far i love the fact that he's starting to like say new words and like every day he's starting to like do something different and it's been so fun lately like just really a good time and like yesterday what was it like two days ago he was starting to say bye like he would like walk away from me and say bye and it's just the cutest because he's so stinky cute you're cute you're cute baby how do you say hi hi yeah oh. no you don't want to say no uh. How do you Ow. Ow, I know the car was kind of crashing. But yeah, I've been enjoying it. He's just, he's the best. Riley has actually been behaving ish. You know, she has her days, but the last couple days she's been good. So I'm gonna make some of that mud water. Where's my cup? I'm gonna make some of that mud water again. I think in the last vlog you guys saw me make it. You guys, like, the thing is, like, with sponsored stuff, like a little behind the scenes thing. So with sponsored stuff, sometimes, I'll be honest, like I'm kind of scared because I, like if it's something new, right? Like I have a lot of sponsorships of like companies that I use all the time that I'm very familiar with. So I love those. But when it's something new, I'm kind of scared to try it because I'm like, maybe I'm going to like it, maybe I'm not. And I always tell the brand like, hey, if it's something new, I'll try it. Um, I'll agree to the contract sometimes first, but I'll always tell them if I end up trying it and I don't like it If it tastes like crap or I just end up not liking it I'm not gonna continue with the partnership like there always has to be an out in case I end up genuinely not liking it because I'm I refuse to come on here and tell you hey look at this thing It's great if it's absolutely not so 
obviously like that wouldn't be the funnest conversation with the company to say hey by the way um, I actually don't like your stuff and I've actually done that with one product before like I didn't like one of the flavors and I was like I can't I can't promote this so when I you know when they reached out to me about working together I was like well you know I'll give it a try I really did think that Joe would like it and I've been pleasantly so pleasantly surprised that i really enjoyed it like yesterday like when i filmed that video um the other day like two days ago is this hot enough water this is me heating up my water in the microwave are you allowed to do this is this like bad because i just don't have the time to wait for it to filter two days ago i had it with just the water um then yesterday i had it in my coffee and i i think i like the taste of my coffee with the mud water in it because it tastes more chocolatey than regular coffee so it's one of those things that i've been really pleased with like i've been very happy that it worked out and now i may order more because it's kind of bomb All right, so the kids were good. They let me have my session with my therapist. So that went well. I'm here in their room, in Riley's room. This is some of the clothes that I started separating yesterday, but I have more clothes that I washed last night that I need to fold. Let's see if they'll let me do some packing. So we've got Riley's suitcase pretty much packed. I've got some stuff separated here. What did you do? Are you okay? I have a few things that I have separated there that I don't have in the suitcase because that stuff is gonna be like for the overnight bag when we stop at the hotel the first night. Are you guys okay? But let me, let me take a break and attend to these children. I was somehow able to pack Jackson's things, so at least that's separated. And now, maybe eventually I'll get to do my closet. Come on! How do you say ball? Little cranky human. In case you missed like the last vlog, we're gonna be in Miami for like two weeks. I think I told you guys that we're going to be there for about two weeks. So I just wanted to make sure that I had enough stuff. We're going to be there through Father's Day too. So um, I needed to make sure that I had anything in case we do anything nice. Wow. Father's Day. Jackson. Mama. 
all the pool stuff for Mimi's pool. Lots that I'm trying to remember. Why are you mad, Timmy? Anyway, Joe's on his way home from work, so hopefully he can help me soon. All right, so Joe is home. I'm gonna leave the kids home. Hi, Dada. I'm gonna leave Joe with the kids. Joe Jackson's like literally just eating cr crackers here, just chomping away. I'm gonna leave the kids with him. I'm gonna go return those shores at Target. Look for their sunscreen. Did I tell you that that's what I'm looking for? I'm looking for that new sunscreen that I wanna get, the Think Baby sunscreen, because the other day, like a bunch of you guys had at, like sent me this article saying that the Vino Baby one that I use is like, they found some bad ingredient in it, I don't know. But a lot of you guys had recommended the Think Baby one, so I think, I think they sell the Think Baby one at Target. So I'm gonna go look for it, go just take a little stroll. So you guys behave, I'll be right back, okay? All right, I made it to Target, it is pouring. So at least I have my rain jacket, you guys, because I don't even know, I don't even know if I own an umbrella. Like, I can't find an umbrella. I don't see umbrellas anywhere. We obviously are not prepared to have them in my car. So I'm gonna run in there, hopefully just look for that sunscreen, see if they have it, do my return. I'm trying not to get too sidetracked in there. I mean, it's nice and tempting because I'm alone. Like the last couple times I've come to Target, it's been with the kids. So it's tempting to just peruse, but I'm gonna try to focus and just get what I need. So let's go do that and then we can go home. I still have to pack, um, so yeah, let's do it. Okay, this is me not getting distracted, but look how cute. They have like mommy and me like matching swimwear. So they have like these, even like for Jackson, they have like these little shorts and then they have like the matching mom bathing suit. That is adorable. Um, should I get any? I don't know. I don't think they need any more bathing suits, but this is so stinking cute. And they even have, like look, for the dads, for the dads to match. I think that's so cute. Okay, I didn't do it, but I wanted to. But I am gonna pick up more of that tinted hydrator from Wet n Wild that I like. So they have it, let's see. I am light, light medium, I think is what I am. Yeah, so I'm gonna get that because it's literally like my favorite thing right now. How pretty these makeup brushes are. With a pretty set for 40 bucks. They look super soft and fluffy. I really need like some new brushes, but I don't need them right this second. Okay, so here is their sunscreen, and I don't see the Think Baby. So I might have to order it online because I did see it online. And they also have it on Amazon. I did hear that this one was also good, like the Blue Lizard one is supposed to be pretty good. I don't know if to grab that just in case, but I'm kind of mad that they don't have that one. So look, you guys, I found it. I came to like the kids, like the baby section, like where they have like the body washes and stuff for the babies. They have it. Um, this is a two pack. This is the one that I'm gonna get. They also have, I guess, just a one pack for $12.99. I'm just gonna go ahead and get the two pack, but it's SPF 50 and it's got the zinc oxide. So we'll give it a shot. Hopefully the kids do well with it because before this is the one that I would use for the kids. And look, I'm gonna try to not get anything here, but look, they have a bunch of really pretty like gold chunky necklaces. They have a whole bunch down here that actually look really good quality. This one I almost grabbed. It's like three necklaces in one. But they also have like some daintier ones, like some single ones, a bunch of gold hoops. These are actually kind of pretty, but I'm trying to be good today. A bunch of really pretty hats, but I always feel like when I put on a hat, I look stupid. <laughs> like, obviously I have a bun on my head, but like this, I don't know, this is not a good look, you guys. So maybe just some people are just like not hat people. Like in theory, these should look cute, right? But they don't, they look really dumb, so. I guess I'm just not meant to wear hats. All right, so that was a success. Um, I'm glad that they had it. I got worried there for a minute when I went to just like the regular makeup section where they have sunscreens. So just, um, if you guys are looking for that in your Target, remember to like check the actual baby section itself. Let's get home um, and then we can continue packing. Literally, I was very proud of myself because I walked out of there with just the sunscreen and my tinted hydrator thing. That is it. No clothes, no nothing, because you guys know that I already cleaned out my closet. So I'm very proud of myself. That was a successful shopping trip. I only spent like $29. Okay, I am back home. Riley wanted to go out on the deck and it is raining. So Riley, turn around. Let me see you. <laughs> I put her in my raincoat. 
And she looks like a little gnome. <laughs> I love your outfit. So now you can play on the deck there while it's raining, okay? Jackson, let's get you some lunch, bud. It's a little later, I got the kids their lunch and stuff. I'm gonna work on doing the marinade for the sirloin tips. I just pulled up the recipe. I'm gonna improvise a little bit. I don't think I have everything that I need, but I'm just gonna marinate the meat. So if you guys want the recipe, you can just go on the website like I did and search sirloin tips. And it's the orange rosemary sirloin tips. And I'm gonna serve it with Brussels sprouts later tonight. So let's do that. And then I can go upstairs hopefully and work on my packing. So that's good. I've got that in the fridge. So half of my work when I come to cook later tonight is done. I'll just put it, I'll just put it like on the skillet later. I'll let you know if it's any good. I'm probably just gonna serve it with some rice. And I don't know, maybe it'll just taste a little different than my normal just like salt and pepper and just spice things up a little bit. So um yeah, I've got a bunch to do still. Let's see. Joe has a call now at 1:30, so he's not gonna be able to help me with the kids. When he's done, then we can continue. So I think I'm pretty much good in terms of separating clothes. That's probably like what I'm gonna wear tomorrow in the car and then the other one is like for the next day. So I always have to like leave out two outfits. And then here I'm gonna put the rest of my toiletries. We've got most of my toiletries here. I tell you every time that I pack this bag, you guys, this is a Stony Clover big bag, like big cosmetic bag. It fits everything. Like I have so much crap in there because I didn't know what I was gonna end up using. I still have to put like my toothbrush and my toothpaste, but like I have my entire life in here and it all fits. So these bags are great. Jackson is gonna do a little nap. <laughs> He's having a fit. <laughs> hey, come on, it's nap time, little buddy. You wanna turn off the light? You wanna turn it off? No? Screw you, lady. Let's read a book. Let's read a book. You want to?
so today I didn't make Riley go to her room for quiet time because she's having like a little bit of a rough day. So she's on the couch right now um, watching her iPad and she's entertained. Joseph Buell is over there taking a nap too. I don't know if you guys can see him right over there. I'm gonna allow myself to take a break while Jackson is sleeping in his room. I've got my iPad and I've got my headphones. So I'm gonna watch Outlander here on my iPad so that way nobody can hear it because I don't watch that like when the kids can see it but if it's on my iPad and in my headphones then I can watch it. I also have birthday cake popcorn here so it's gonna be a nice little break. I need it. I'm so tired and yes I could probably be doing work and stuff but I'm not going to because it's Friday and I want a break. I'm on season three now of Outlander and it is just such a good show. I really like it. Joe and I have just the season finale left of Hell's Kitchen that we're gonna watch and then he wants to watch Loki whatever i like the guy I like tom hiddle whatever his last name is I'll probably watch that i want to watch that mayor of easton is that even what it's called the mayor of easton that a bunch of people were saying was good i still have a couple episodes of handmaid's tale that i still have to watch but yes outlander is my jam right now so i'm just gonna relax as you guys said it's a little later i just thought you guys might want to see what i'm feeling with you i had not Friday, why is there paint on the wall Oh my god. Okay, I hadn't seen that part. I'd seen her hands. But I hadn't seen the wall. Mama. Riley. Riley! We're gonna wash your hands and you're gonna help me clean the wall. We do not paint the wall, my friend. Hello. Hi. So yeah, having toddlers is fun. Okay, we need to do this fast before Joe gets here because he's gonna he's gonna be very mad. <laughs> can help like I still got all of this huh okay that's showing some promise how about the pink ones the pink ones like don't come out and it was like black paint but then I wiped it off and it turned pink what what is that what kind of crap is that those were not Crayola paints by the way those were like that moto llama or whatever from Target Right. We'll probably have to paint paint that. Oh yeah, that was my bad. I mean, I knew like I the thought literally crossed my head. Like when I put her in the high chair, I was like, she's a little too close to the wall, but nothing's gonna happen. Every time you think that something's not gonna happen, it, it happens. It happens for real. So, uh, yeah, that's like my best mom advice I can give you. Whenever you think your kid is not gonna do something, for sure they are. So, just expect it. Um, but I'm gonna go around my house now and spot clean, uh, like spot treat my walls. <laughs> now that I have the magic eraser out, I actually got rid of like a big stain that I had in the wall, like this like, I don't know if it was pencil markings or what, but I might as well since it's out now. Here we go, you guys. Dinner is served. Look at that. It actually tastes delicious. I tried a little bit because I'm giving Riley some. I gave her some on her plate and it is so good. So I made Brussels sprouts and a little bit of that like 90 second rice. This is for Joe. You gonna eat your steak tonight? I think so. 
I'm gonna give Jackson a little bit of steak too. But that is it. So I'm gonna end the vlog here because we still have more packing to do and all of that. Yeah. Stay tuned for Miami vlogs. They will be coming soon. I'm even gonna try to see if Joel will do like a Q&A tomorrow while we're driving. But that's it for today. So thank you again to ButcherBox for sponsoring. I love you guys to pieces. Remember, bacon for life, definitely a good deal if you want to try them out. All the info will be down below in the description box. But I love you guys to pieces. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Thank you.